Well, 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 we are back, ladies and gentlemen, for a massive, very rare drop trade-up video all the way to black markets. So drop a like, subscribe, and please consider using code PIXELARMY in the Rocket League item shop because very rare drop trade-up videos of this size cost over $500. That's a lot to be blown in about 20 minutes. So, thanks. <laughs> But yes, here we are. We're taking nearly 400 trade-ups all the way to the black markets. Obviously, no painted black markets, so nothing absolutely crazy. But everything here, the white sterns, everything you see is going because I traded for it specifically for this video. So we can get, you know, painted octanes, painted standards. That's pretty much it, to be honest. I don't know if there's really any other drop imports I would rather. Let me have a little look at the import selection here and see what sort of stuff I've been keeping. So Fenix would be ideal. I don't think you can get painted Dominuses anymore, so we can forget that dream. Any painted standard, any painted octane, that's pretty much it. And then maybe a titanium white body if we so desire. But other than that, there's not a lot to go for. So realistically, it is just the painted standard and painted octane. And I wanted to get this out of the way. Speaking of painted octanes, right? I was going to make a whole separate video about this, but I decided to change the idea. And for that day, I made the video about some of my best and worst trades in Rocket League. Because I thought overall for the length of an entire video, that would do better. But something I do want to mention, first of all, I am very shocked at uh, the hate I got. Some of the hate I got. It wasn't by tons of people, but it really kind of stood out. Mostly because it was, you know, like on Instagram, for example, like public comments. I think they deleted their comments when I replied to them because that's the thing. A lot of people, when they hate on someone online, they think of it as just like chucking hate at a wall, for example. Like they don't actually expect maybe the person to see it or they don't have the balls to back up their stupid statements when the person in question actually, you know, responds, for example. So... There's a Fennec. You love to see it. I'd love to get a, a 40 stack of non-painted Fennec. I think we've got 39 at the moment. Um, but I was getting hate comments for my creator bundle. And first things first, that means you didn't watch any of the video. So obviously I did a video theorizing what I would put in the item shop if I was lucky enough to get the choice. This is all hypothetical for one. Guys, I don't even have a flag in Rocket League. I'm still yet to get any sort of interaction from Rocket League on Twitter as well. They haven't ever liked a single one of my tweets. They've never replied to one of my tweets. I would say I don't even know if they've ever seen one of my tweets, but recently I did get verified on Twitter and I have tweeted Rocket League since. I know for a fact they will see a verified account talking to them. Like, because they, they might be on the verified only tab and I'd still be there in and amongst not many people. So they've seen... They've definitely seen me. They know I exist. And Devin, the community manager, obviously knows I exist because he's helped hook me up with, you know, the Rocket Pass giveaways recently. We, we've spoken back and forth occasionally. So he knows I exist. But whoever runs the Rocket League Twitter account doesn't. Doesn't like me. Or has their favorites. We'll put it that way. Uh, but yeah, I don't even have a flag in the game. So what the heck makes you think they're actually going to give me a creator bundle in, in the garage? Don't get me wrong. I would be over the moon if they did. But there's plenty of other creators that I'm sure they'd ask first. John being one of them. Any creator that's got a flag, I'm sure they'd ask before me. So that's it. That's that's my little uh, my little piece. But a lot of people were getting really angry at me. Um, for saying I put the white octane in the shop. Now, would I actually do that if given the chance? Probably not. I, I think because I did that video in the end as a hypothetical as if I was never going to get a creator bundle, I included the white octane, but I didn't go mental and say like alpha boost or anything like that because I don't even have alpha boost. They were still items that meant a lot to me. But if I was given the actual chance, I would take, you know, <laughs> the market into somewhat of a consideration, probably change it to... I don't know, maybe just a, a Crimson Octane or something like that, which would still be great, you know, great value, but I probably wouldn't do the White Octane. I'm not saying I never would, but I, I'd imagine I probably wouldn't. But the thing is, when I made that video, a lot of people didn't watch it. A lot of people assumed that it was going to come out in the game because they didn't watch my video. Uh, and a lot of people, as well as being annoyed at me, started panic selling. They started panic selling their white octanes. If you go to the RL Insider graph, one reason why I'm not too worried about the effect that video had is because of the recent price action on the white octane. But it was at its peak of like 10.8k, maybe? I could be making this up. On the 17th of August, when I posted that video. It's now the 19th of August at the time of recording this, so a couple of days later, and it's dropped by over a 1,000. It's like late 8,000s, 9,000 value now. So a lot of people saw my video, 
thought people were going to get a white octane for like 2k credits and started selling their white octanes, causing the price to go down. So uh, inadvertently and most definitely accidentally, I'm pretty sure I caused the price of the white octane to go down. Now, I don't, I'm not one to take responsibility for things like that if it's potentially not my fault, but someone I was trading with, actually trading, you know, these very rare drop items for, they said specifically that they saw a lot of people panic selling their Octane, some people making TikToks about it, off the back of my Creator Garage video, and then I went and looked at the, um, the price of the Titanium Y Octane, and it, it lined up with the day I uploaded the video when it started to decline, and, you know, stuff like that, so... Weirdly, I, I do have some sort of influence. I mean, I know you can kind of influence the markets based on fear, perception, hype. And there were definitely YouTubers in the past with massive influences that would, you know, unnecessarily hype up items that they have loads of to try and drive the price of the items up, which is, I, I can't remember the exact term for it in the real world. I think, is it like insider trading or stock manipulation? It's, it's, it's illegal, basically. Uh, but... If I were to make a video saying the white octane sucks and it went to 2k credits off the back of that, that's just mental. Like obviously I wouldn't and it wouldn't do that, but me making a video saying I would put the white octane in the garage, the fact that that made it drop like 2,000 nearly credits is mind-blowing to me uh, because it, it's clear it was just done on a fear panic base. They didn't actually watch the video, clearly, because it's all hypothetical. But I just thought that was very, very interesting. So no... Uh, the white octane, I mean, it might be in some other creators' bundles, but it, it probably won't be in mine on the basis that I probably won't have one. If I do ever get the chance to get a creator bundle, well, you never know. You know, Athena put an orange one in her bundle, so it's not above, you know, it's not out of the realm of possibility that another painted octane or the white octane would go into the Rocket League item shop. But I would say, at, at very least, until I get a flag in the game, which surely at some point I, I would... Whenever they do their next run of flags, I think it's been like just over a year since they last released creator flags. I could be wrong. But whenever they do their next one, surely I'm going to be in it. If not, I'd, I'd feel a little bit disappointed. Like, obviously, I'm very grateful for Rocket League. It allows me to make the videos that I make. But they made the game and I've made, made thousands of videos on the game. And that's how I've made my career. And I've driven, I know for a fact, I've driven thousands of people that perhaps otherwise wouldn't have played it as much or wouldn't have got into trading or wouldn't have spent as many credits. I've made Rocket League money. I know that for a fact. So, yeah. Uh, oh, first painted standard of the video. So, you know, a little smidgen of gratitude as far as Rocket League is concerned, especially considering they do show gratitude to certain creators that they like. I feel like that would be definitely deserved and justified. Uh, I think whether you like me or not, it's fair to say... I definitely deserve to be in the next run of creator flags. I've made more Rocket League videos than pretty much anyone. Certainly more than anyone that doesn't already have a flag. Like, I'm sure John probably has more Rocket League videos on his channel than I do. But I have thousands of Rocket League videos. Barely anyone, if may maybe just John, can say that they have that too. So I'm sure there are others like... Squishy. I can't remember really how much he uploads. Lethemir probably has uploaded a ton, but again, a thousand. Do you realize how many videos that is? Of course you do. It's a thousand. So yeah, this became a really long rant and tirade about how I deserve a flag in Rocket League, but I'm not afraid to say it. I'll, I'll be willing to back myself. I do deserve a flag in Rocket League. So say what you want. Call me whatever you like. You can dislike my videos. That's, that's totally fine. I know I deserve a flag. <laughs> okay. This isn't me being salty. Um, so yeah, that's my talk on the trading market, Rocket League, me deserving a flag. If anyone's watching from Rocket League in this point, or if you want to clip this, please, please put a flag of mine in the game. It, it cannot take that long. Just my little logo, the same logo that I've had for years. Just chuck that on a flag. You don't have to like me, but surely, surely we can get something agreed there. So that's my speech. We've got like 200 more trade-ups and I'm not going to keep your attention if nothing's happening. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you any painted standard and painted octane. That's it. Unless maybe it's like a white import body or something like that. And if not, we'll just skip straight to black market trade-ups. I pray you get a clip that's a very rare trade-up after this cuts because otherwise it means we've got nothing. So here's hoping. Drop a like. Let's go. Feel good about this zippy stack. There's so many trade-ups surely we get something can't wait to skip ahead in one minute and say update we got nothing <laughs> update 
we got nothing. <laughs> it just makes me think back to pick a clip videos where I see people hop into their very rare trade window, have one trade up, and then boom, white octane. I, how do you guys do it? How? And when I say nothing, you know, we're getting stuff like this. Painted breakouts, road hogs, hot shots and all that. Nothing titanium white and no octanes or standards. That's why you're not seeing anything. It's not literally nothing. There are a few painted car bodies here and there. But nothing worth writing home about, let me tell you. <laughs> and who knows, if we keep this up, this could go down the history as the worst very rare trader video of all time. We've had one painted standard and no painted octanes. That's sickening. Has it got worse? I don't understand. Oh, there we go. Sky blue octane. I was just about to say, I feel like my luck's been nerfed. And there we go. A sky blue octane. One of the best octanes you can get. I will take that. Other than white and crimson, I think sky blue has to be one of the best, right? I'll take that. I'll take that. Even if we don't get another octane or standard, that is a win. I can I can put that in a thumbnail, basically. <laughs> Massive Vulcan stack. Over 10 trade-ups. Let's see what we get. Come on, literally nothing. Again, nothing. <laughs> don't do very rare trade-ups. Seriously, don't. If you've got them from drops and stuff, like, yeah, by all means do it. But don't go out to get very rare drop items with the hope of getting something sick. It's such a bad idea. Open your free drops, open your Caesar rewards. You might get the odd black market here and there, and then eventually you can build up your credit value to get an octane that way. This isn't the way. We got a great standard there. Not bad, but that's the extent of our luck at the moment. One painted standard in like 100 trade-ups. There's a Fennec. The 40 stack is complete. That's a small victory. <laughs> I got to take what I can get here with these trade-ups, I reckon. This must be what the workers in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory felt like. You know when Veruca's dad got all of his workers to just open chocolate bars looking for golden tickets for like weeks? And they were just opening bar after bar. And it was just absolutely mind-numbing. Failure after failure. Because there's no golden tickets in here, man. Until there is one, of course, which I hope isn't the sky blue octane we're referring to here. It could be that one. That's the golden ticket. We're not getting another painted octane with this many left, I don't think. That is the golden ticket. The crimson octane, the croctane. That's huge. That's huge. Okay, I'll take it. There's a little bit of joy. <laughs> Things you love to see in a Fennec back to back. Surely not another good thing. No, back to reality. Looking for another golden ticket, but I'll take that. I will. I'm happy with that. There's 116 Proteuses in this stack. That's 22 trade-ups. We might actually get something good. 23, if you count the first few. But we've now got less than 20, so I'll shut up. Maybe to up the chance of getting like a cool Octane or something like that. If you trade up five very rare bodies, you should get an import body. Feels like a bit of a robbery to trade up, you know, five cars and get a Bubbles boost. I mean, maybe that's a cool thing they could add. Some kind of change to the trading system. I don't know. Chances are they're not going to change much to the trading system going forward because that's not really where their focus is. They're trying to not focus on drops or anything like that, really. So maybe this is what we've got and this is how it'll stay. Oh, another painted octane. We're getting some sick colors as well. Crimson, sky blue and purple. I don't know if purple is as awesomely valued as it used to be because it used to be white was the most valuable then crimson and then purple and then sky blue was after that and then lime hadn't been popularized by musty yet so that was lower down with all the others now lime is more popular but hey we've got some sick colors you know apart from not having the white we've pretty much got everything we want oh it's a gray merc i got baited by that a little bit okay if i get nothing else here i'll literally see you when i've traded up all the imports as well and we'll get a bunch of black market i'm stunned I was speaking. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I can't contain my... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't. I don't want to be too loud. I don't want to absolutely terrify the guinea pigs. Bro. Ah. Oh. oh, my God. It would have been a louder reaction if I wasn't already talking. No way. No way. I... Oh, my God. We had nothing. I literally said in this video, it could be the worst, very rare trade-up video of all time. It could have been the worst. We had one standard and no octane from like 200 trade-ups. And now we've had crimson, purple, sky blue and octane. Sky blue and octane. Sky blue and titanium white. Oh my gosh. We've done it. That's literally all you want. We've actually... I said, I said when I had two octanes, I wasn't going to get another painted one. We got a purple and a titanium white. That's a dub. Oh my goodness. If they threw in a black standard there... 
I mean, Black Stan is literally the only thing we're missing uh, from these trade-ups. There's nothing else worth talking about. But I don't care. We've got a White Octane again. That's unreal. Well, I'm going to try and process that. Please drop a like if you haven't already. This is why you're here for good luck. Drop a like and I'll see you when we get to the exotic to black market trade-ups. Oh my days. Ah, you thought. Yeah, you, you actually thought for a second. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, this is the final trade-up, and I think I'm going to leave the rest behind. We had a grey standard, white octane, purple octane, a bunch of phoenix, crimson octane, sky blue octane. It was all awesome. And now we're here with a bunch of black market trade-ups. 15, to be precise, which you love to see. There's a voxel. What's going to go in the thumbnail with the titanium white octane? That is the question. Is it going to be a duel in dragons? Because like I said, no paint can be achieved from these trade-ups. So I wouldn't mind a uh, crowd pleaser. Something good on the eye. Something nice. Heat wave, fire god, dissolver, something saucy. Parallax looks cool. Don't know if I'd put it in a thumbnail though. Polypop, bit of an L, not gonna lie. I feel like Polypop is one of the forgotten black markets. Singularity looks quite cool, so maybe that's a last resort. Polypop again, speaking of forgotten black markets, here we go. Come on! Yes! Could be Shattered. I do think Shattered looks very cool in a thumbnail. You never know. I think Shattered is a really good black market. Stormwatch, final one in the video. Spectre. I don't know what's going to be in that thumbnail, but it's going to be sick either way. That is going to do it. After an hour of trading nonstop, we have a Titanium White Octane. If you did enjoy this video, please do drop a like. Subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. I've been Pixel. You have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next video very soon. Never pick me, not an issue I am a beast, I'm at the top I run these beats, I